Hey everyone, Zach here with Sativa Building Systems. I thought I'd make a quick video today to talk about a new feature that was just added to the website. And it relates to one of the more common questions that I get about hempcrete and Z panels in specific. And that is, hey, what do they cost? And uh, I've been saying for quite some time that our, our targeted entry price for the Z panels is $60 per panel. And that a lot of times doesn't tell the whole story for people because they don't know, hey, how much of the wall space does that cover? Or what are the dimensions of the Z panel? The good news is that I have those stats now on the website. So you can go to the Z panel section, you can scroll down and it talks about the, the, all of the dimensions of the Z panel, the specifications, um, but uh, it still might not be real easy for people to then try to figure out, okay, so I have a home that's this size, how much wall space is that? Um, how many Z panels? So I made it super simple and I'll show you here in a little bit how you can use our cost calculator to estimate your project cost if you were to use Z panels, but then also compare it to what it would be if you were to use other materials. I have been talking about hempcrete for a long time. And even though I have been, uh, I still run into people on a weekly basis who have no idea what hempcrete is. And I fully understand that it's not a, it's not a term that is, is common in our vocabulary yet, but one day it will be, at least that's the goal. And I always like to start off by telling people about the benefits that hempcrete can deliver and specifically our Z panel product, because a lot of times people aren't familiar with this. And oftentimes people don't even realize that their current structures that they reside in, work in, live in are very deficient in a lot of ways for the reason that not a single other building system or material can deliver on all of these benefits of being mold, pest, fire, rot resistant, non-toxic and sustainable. These are huge. Oftentimes when you get to talking with people, or at least when I do, I find that they're more than happy to uh, pay a little bit more to have just one of these benefits. I know for me, it was that mold resistance. We had a situation in our house, I've talked about it quite a bit, we had toxic mold that was growing in one of the walls of our home, made family members sick. So for me, it was like, yeah, you know what? A home is the biggest investment I'll probably ever make. I wanted to be with the highest you know, uh, quality materials out there, or at least have something that is mold resistant. And for others, maybe it's that pest resistance. Maybe it's rot or fire resistance. Maybe it's the fact that it's non-toxic. That's on a lot of people's minds now too, is the fact that well, like that statistic says right there, 30% of people are sensitive to off-gassing. Others, they just care about the sustainability features. And maybe it's the fact that one acre of hemp can absorb up to 4.2 tons of CO2. So there's a lot of cool things about the Z panel. It's a premium product. So I always like to start off with that. Um, and, you know, people oftentimes will, they'll look at the initial upfront cost of something but not look further down the road and look at what the long-term return on investment could be. And something that's worth considering when building a home is its energy efficiency. Oftentimes people do look at that and that's why they're willing to maybe pay a premium for spray foam insulation versus fiberglass, or they'll put you know, 15 inches thick uh, insulation in their attic versus 12 or 10, because they know that hey, it's gonna cost a little bit more on the front end, but you're going to save that on the back end with your heating and cooling costs. And that's what's really cool about hempcrete and Z panels is that you can save up to 50% on your HVAC costs when using Z panels in place of fiberglass insulation. So really, really cool there and longer lifespan too. You know, I think that, you know, I think a lot about what I might be able to pass on to future generations. And I really hope that we can pass houses and structures onto not just my children, but my grandchildren and my great grandchildren. Um, and that's very possible as long as we're using high quality materials to build our homes and buildings with. So let's get into it here. That was a long introduction. But if I go to the very bottom of this page here, we'll go all the way down to the cost calculator. So now this is a estimate. Now there's a lot of variability all across the nation. You know, you might live in an area where this is fairly accurate. And there's a lot of degree of variability with labor costs all around the US. There's also quite a bit of variability in material costs. So this is a general estimate. If you really want to dive into this and say, hey, you know what? I want to like get it down to a really, 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 really close estimate. 
reach out to us. We'll help you with that. We can get you a very, very accurate quote based on your build plan, um, the square footage of your walls, um, and all those things. We can at least quote what it'll cost in Z panels for sure. But again, this is a, a general estimate, but something fun to still play around with. Let's say you want to build a 2,000 square foot home. Let's punch that in. And you want to start off with looking at what is the baseline. So baseline is just the, and when I say standard construction, the cheapest materials, now this is like, you know, stick built framing um, with vinyl siding and fiberglass insulation. That's the way most homes are built in the U.S. It's fine materials, but they are the cheapest by far and honestly the lowest quality. So what would that cost? 2,000 square foot home, cheapest stuff on the market, about $320,000 right now. Z panel home, about 358000 Brick home would be about 342, whereas log and timber home would be 384. So if you are paying attention there to those numbers, you'll see that Z panel structures in general are going to be more affordable than a log or timber home um, and a little bit more expensive than brick and a little bit more expensive than your standard cheapest materials. So, um, but again, when you go back to the features, the benefits that a Z panel can deliver, most people would say, yeah, I get it. Makes sense why it costs more. Uh, why wouldn't it? It's, it's mold, pest, fire, and rot resistant. It's carbon negative and non-toxic. It's amazing. So uh, yeah, feel free to go to the website. So again, it's um, from the homepage. If I go up here, uh, go to the Z panel section, scroll all the way down, and here it is. Let's say you have a project coming up and it's uh, a smaller home. It's 1,200 square feet. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, just under $200,000 for standard construction and about two hundred fifteen for Z panel construction. Let's say you got a big project. you got a doing a 6,000 square foot home. That is going to cost you just under a million <laughs> yeah, for the standard construction and about $1,074,000 for Z panel. So uh, hop online, uh, feel free to go to the website. And like I said, if you got questions about really more specific, uh, a more specific quote, happy to help you out with that. We would love to love to chat. Thanks.